Hi, now we are discussing on the problems of CSA or June 2018 Chemical Sciences. Just look at the given problem. The major products A and B form in the following reaction sequence are. Just observe the given reaction, we need to find A and B. Okay, right, just check the mechanism here. In the first step, LDA, lithium diisopropyl amide, so which is a bulk strong base and which can abstract proton or acidic proton from the less hindered positions that's why it can abstract proton from CH3 which is less hindered okay right so that's why the after formation of carbon ion and which can cleave the epoxide just follow the arrows okay further on heating and followed by hydrolysis and it produces the carbon ion okay after formation of the carbon ion then there is a possible two possibilities to produce two intermediates of carbon ions okay one is through the A and one is through the B okay so A and B pathways for example if you see through the A pathway we can get this intermediate where four membered ketone with terminal carbon ion okay so we in simple the primary is more stable primary carbon ion is more stable than secondary right but here then here if we observe this is not stable intermediate if we see other pathway for example just see the second pathway that is through the B we get five membered ketone with the alpha carbon ion so just see at alpha carbon ion uh, to the carbon group and phenyl group that means this carbon ion can have the possibility to resonate in between the keto group and phenyl group so that's why here this uh, tertiary carbon ion is more stable when we compare with the primary carbon ion with the four membered ring or four membered ketone cyclic ketone okay right so that's why so option and that means that means through the a pathway which we get that means a four membered ketone ring with the thermal carbon and is less stable so hence we need to just uh, eliminate this one so we need to follow the five membered ketone okay and then further abstraction of proton abstraction of proton we get the product a okay and then further reacting with beta chloroparbenzoic acid and dichloromethane it results the product so it is simply bare willigar oxidation so where the oxide simply introduced between the carbonyl uh, carbonyl carbon and the branched phenyl end okay so simply we can get the final product as like this so just check the options a and b that is fourth option is the correct answer for the given problem next question the major heterocyclic compound formed in the following reaction is so we have given with the ferrol that means n substituted ferrol reacting with alkyne and on heating followed by just reduction with the palladium in the presence of palladium carbon hydrogenation okay right now just check the reaction mechanism here and we know that the ferrol can be act as a diene just like a furan okay so sometimes it can act, act as a diene and it involves deal order like reactions so that's why here it can uh, that means 4n plus 2 reaction takes place here under thermal condition we can get this intermediate and then further a reduction with the hydrogen palladium carbon we can get this final product just see why uh, this double bond can be reduced other than other than this one because so here due to the bulk uh, substituents at this end the hydrogenation cannot be take place, takes place on this double bond so here if you see other double bond which is uh, uh, which is simply uh, less less uh, sterically hindered when we compare with this double bond hence so it can be easily uh, reduced by the hydrogen palladium carbon reagent okay right so that's why this is the final product just check the option so that is three is the correct answer for the given problem next question the major products a and b form in the following reaction sequence are so just see we have given with the uh, substrate which is having at one two positions that means two hydroxy groups are there reacting with tocyl chloride which is one equivalent followed by pyridine and calcium carbonate we get a and for the reacting with trimethyl sulfoxide in presence of sodium hydride it results b we need to find a and b okay right so in the first step so the primary hydroxy group is protected by tocyl chloride that means the lone pair of electrons and oxygen can attack on tocyl chloride so just follow the reaction mechanism here and it it simply the primary attraction is protected here okay right after that so the tocyl axi group simply cleaves in the presence of a strong base and then the calcium carbonate and then further followed by ring expansion we get a 
expanded uh, ketone okay expanded ring ketone right and then further so after formation of a so this is a uh, and after formation of a whenever it reacts with trimethyl sulfoxide in the presence of sodium hydride we know that sodium hydride is a strong base which can abstract proton from the ch3 one of the ch3 of the uh, trimethyl sulfoxide so here not ch3 ch it is simply ch2h please write down small uh, mistake okay right and it can abstract one of the proton here and formation of uh, ch2 minus carbon ion and which can attack and do that carbon carbon of expanded ring okay and then further the negative charge which forms on the oxygen can attack and ch2 to eliminate dimethyl sulfoxide dmso and it results an epoxide okay so this is the final product d and if you see the option one is the correct answer for the given problem okay right next question the correct order of reads for the following reactions is okay just check the first reaction here iodobenzene reacting with sodamide and it results aniline so it has a rate of uh, that means rate constant k1 and second reaction in the second chlorobenzene reacting with sodamide it results a uh, aniline the it has a rate constant k2 and if you observe both these reactions uh, simply these reactions are the examples of nucleophilic substitution reactions okay right and if you see the first reaction and uh, uh, the rate of the reaction of the first reaction is more when we compared with the second reaction because just remind that uh, the leaving group capacity of iodine is greater than chlorine which is greater than fluorine okay that's why in the nucleophilic substitution reactions the iodine can be easily cleaved from the substrate so that's why the nucleophile can easily eliminate iodine and it substitutes in the place of iodine that is the rate of this reaction is more when we compared with the chlorine substrate okay right so simply k1 is greater than k2 now just check a third reaction where it has a k3 rate constant and the substrate is having para nitro group okay so if here nitro group is a strong electron withdrawing group right now and in the if you see the fourth uh, reaction in that uh, the substrate is having same para nitro group but here we have fluorine okay right now just check the both the substrates in the third and fourth reactions and now check the first substrate here in the first substrate the electron dragging capacity or attracting capacity of uh, nitro group is more when you compare with iodine so that's why the electrons from the iodine carbon bond of the benzene can be dragged onto the benzene towards nitro group so that's why whenever nucleophile can attack an iodine so iodine not able to abstract proton onto it and to eliminate as a anion so that's why it is less uh, uh, stable okay so that's why the rate of reaction of k3 is less but if you see the fourth uh, substrate whereas fluorine is more electronegative when we compare to uh, nitro group here that means the dragging capacity of electrons towards fluorine is more when we compare with the nitro group so that's why the whenever nucleophile attack here the fluorine can easily eliminate so that's why the rate of reaction of that is a rate constant uh, that is k4 for the fourth reaction is more when we compare with the rate uh, the rate constant of the third reaction okay right next question the major products a and b formed in the following reaction sequence are so just observe the reaction and we need to find a and b in the first react in the first step the substrate re is reacting with rhodium complex okay so just remember the rhodium whenever rhodium complex is there with the uh, uh, substrate having a uh, n2 okay so simply it produces carbene okay after formation of carbene we know that the carbene insertion between the carbon hydrogen is more popular okay so that's why here simply the carbon the carbene electrons can insert in between the carbon hydrogen and forms the cyclic ketone ring okay and after formation of this a it can react with uh, sodium cyanoborohydrate and at ph4 it results the final product okay so just check the options and the given uh, options okay and uh, next question right next question mechanism of the following transformation involves so benzene reacting with a uh, alkyne under photochemical condition it resulting in the final product so we need to find the intermediate steps involved in this reaction okay right in the first step one of the double bond of benzene react with alkyne that is simply it is 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction okay and after formation of two, uh, the product 
in 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction and we have given with uh, photochemical condition and it is ring that means electrocyclic ring opening reaction okay so in uh, electrocyclic ring opening reaction if the foreign system is involved then this this rotation is favored so that's why here we can get the final product so just observe the fourth option a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition followed by disrotatory electrocyclic ring opening is the uh, best uh, intermediate uh, possible in the given reaction okay so option 4 is the correct answer for the given reaction next question the structure of the intermediate a and b and the major product b formed the following reaction or just check the reaction here we need to find a and b right in the first step under thermal conditions the alkyne that means the three double bonds has the possibility to cleave that means in uh, homolytically that means there is a formation of radicals so the terminal radicals can form a bond whenever the terminal radicals form a bond then there is formation of benzene ring with uh, two radicals at terminal ends here okay on the benzene ring now so we have given with tributyl tin deuterium hydrogen okay so here d means deuterated hydrogen now so we know that trimetal uh, tributyl tin deuterium or tin deuterated hydrogen or hydrogen or hydride can simply produce free radicals okay under thermal conditions or in the influence of uh, free radical initiators now the free radicals can attack on the free radicals of the benzenes and results the final product as like this now check the options simply first the first uh, option is the correct answer for the given problem next question the major l allylic alcohol a and the ester b form in the following reaction sequence or okay just check the substrate and reacting with two equivalents of beta lithium followed by reacting with the uh, formaldehyde resulting a and reacting with uh, trithaxy methyl methane and in presence of propanoic acid okay it results b you need to find a and b so just check the first rea first reaction it is simply the example of shapiro reaction that means whenever we take two equivalents of beta lithium the strong basis they can abstract proton from the nitrogen and also the acidic proton from that uh, unsub that means un uh, unsubstituted terminal end or unsubstituted end of the ring because so it is a bulk base it can abstract proton from the less or less sterically hindered position so that's why it can abstract pro uh, acidic proton from here only not from here okay right and after formation of a negative charge on that uh, alkene cyclic alkene then it can attack onto the formaldehyde and just follow the arrows and uh, here is the formation of intermediate product so that is a and it reacts with uh, the tri ethaxy methyl methane okay and uh, we, we we have given with propanoic acid catalyst that means it gives a uh, h plus and which can uh, uh, attack by the lone pair of electrons on the axis of one of the ethaxy group and then there is a possibility to cleave ethax ethanol okay so that means it trigger the lone pair of electrons on axis of the intermediate substrate can attack on the carbon to cleave the ethanol easily okay after that so there is a cleavage of another ethanol from uh, proton from the ch3 and ethaxy group one of the ethaxy group then there is a formation of double bond and after formation of this we have the possibility that is 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement under 140 degrees centigrade that means thermal thermal conditions so just follow just uh, arrange 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 here so 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement and we can we can get the final product as like this just check the options here so that is simply uh, the second option is the correct answer okay right thank you